Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche and we have a little bit of exciting news. I accidentally ended the other save file so it was a little bit of a mess anyway but unfortunately our little spit snout aka I kept calling him snip snout crew is gone and I thought I recorded the very tragic events. It resulted in a lot of running away into the grasslands and a like pregnant female at one point being all on her own like stumbling on a group of rabbit creatures and eating them and trying to find a nest in time to have her baby and then we got like tackled by a carnivore and it was very very interesting but the moral of that story is that we kind of lost that world and we did die out so I learned a lot and thank you guys so much for your tips I'm gonna try to do a little bit better this time and sort of study up the differences between the animals but this is definitely a learning experience and it definitely has a pretty sharp learning curve for me so I apologize if things are a little bit clunky oh there's a tree over there and I think this world is different than the last world. We actually had this swampland, which I hear you can get diseases in a little bit easier than you can in the grasslands, but we actually had this swampland um, over here last time, and I think we want to try to shoot for this kind of grassland. I think this is a nice forest area. We should hopefully run into less of the cactus bushes, but first things first, Adam and Eve need to have a baby. So Eve, it, we're back to Adam and Eve because we're starting a whole new world, and again, this is early access, so don't forget that every month this game is hopefully going to be updated. I think the formal release is in January and so January will be the official release of the game. So if it seems like there's not a lot to do just yet, remember this is early access and we're having fun with that. So Eve is over here. She's got her two collecting skills and then Adam only has one but he has venomous so he actually can poison somebody when he attacks them. And she's also got smelling from big nose and eyesight so she can see three and I want wonder what the smelling does. We're gonna have to look at that. He doesn't really have any sense of smell. So we're gonna go ahead and let Adam actually definitely, well, let's have Eve go ahead and gather up a bunch of fruit and then they're gonna have a baby. And then we're going to have Adam kind of examine the area. And the reason that I have him examine the area before we go ahead and move on and just walk onto the area is because now once you clear the grass away when the animal has three speed you can actually move across any like explored areas but you cannot just jump three into the grasslands you can only move like one two three here we could do because we've seen all of this area we've explored it so that's why I have him observe the area and clear the grass away because we had a lot of people asking questions about that <gasps> oh my gosh it feels like Simba has been born oh my goodness look Look at you! Care Duke! All right, so Care Duke has a lot of its mom's traits. Look at that. In fact, I think it's almost identical to its mom's traits. And wow, normal eyes. Look at how cute you are. You stay there in the nest. Good immunity, fluffy tail, no pattern on the body, red mane. Look at that. Man, he's cute. Okay, so that's a much cuter baby than our last ones. And we're gonna go ahead and have Eve stay here and just continue to gather up all of the plants that she finds. And we're gonna have Adam kind of work his way towards the forest because I think the hunting is gonna be better in the forest area. And then Eve, Eve, I guess she can go ahead. I'm gonna have her just stay at the nest with the baby. We don't wanna use up more food than we have to right now. So she's gonna go ahead and just focus on gathering food. And Adam, I'm gonna have him explore and move his way down into the forest so we can see what's going on in the forest. And then we'll let our little Cure Duke, is it? Ah, oh, he's so cute. Eve is not, uh, Eve is caring for the baby right now. I wonder if that does something. All right, Adam, you, how much ability do you have in fighting again, my friend? He's got that poison fang, so hopefully that would be useful. All right, oh, what's this? Is that a rock? Okay, I think he found a good rock. And then Eve is gonna go ahead and collect up from that. We need a new food source soon though. So we need to make sure, okay, let's go ahead and just maybe move over here, explore it, explore it, okay. We're starting to make our way into the forest and things are, I think, running away from us, which is a good sign, because hopefully that means it's food. <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh! Adam, who did you find over here? You found a bush? You found Isra? Who's like a youngin? So he found a little young one who's so strong. She can ram because of the ram horns. She's got a big body and she has a lifted claw. We just found our fighter. Ah, oh, huzzah! Look at that. 
And she went and just gathered us some food. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And so we'll probably bring down the little Kier Duke. We'll have him start moving because he can perch next to this berry patch. And we might send Adam back to go ahead and breed with his mate. That may be something that I'll have him do. So we can send him over here and then we can send him over here again. And then we'll leave her down here. Dang, that's really cool. So I'm excited about, no, Adam, why did you get sick? Fooey, <laughs> so Adam has gotten sick. We're gonna have him meet with his, his Eve. And then I'm gonna have him go ahead and examine the area. We're gonna send, look how far this guy can go because he has five speed. So he actually has, I think Eve has that much speed. Maybe I should have sent Eve instead because uh, then Adam could have stayed down here to possibly fight if they need to. But um, yeah, so Adam, you're here. And Kierduk, because he has five speed instead of three, because we cleared those spots, he can go instantly over here. Do you see that? That's why I wanted to set it up that way and have that go down. All right, Eve, you stay there because you're gonna have a baby, hopefully. There we go. Oh my gosh, re me me. Oh, speed, not very strong, but decent-ish eyesight. So mostly a little bit faster, but not really a fighter. So we definitely wanna save, but she does have, okay, no, that's Eve who has the gathering trait. And then Kier Duke over here, once they're old enough, I'm definitely gonna have these two, whoops, I'm definitely going to have these two think about having some babies together because they definitely look really good. Um, and then I think I might have her go ahead and start examining the area and he can actually just perch here and collect things. And then maybe we'll find a second nest that we can reveal. So I do want to send Adam away again, I think. Maybe have them breed one more time. I'm not sure if there's food sources that have to be used, uh, not just for moves, but for feeding the members of your group. So, and he is sick. So, all right, you stay here. And then you stay here, my little guy. And then because she is so strong, we'll have her go ahead, come over here. Oh, look at, she's almost, she's almost like cornered two bunnies. Oh, that'd be so good. Okay, uh, let's move here. Yeah. All right, she cornered the food. Adam, can you get the food? Ah, it disappeared on us, Fooey. All right, well, we can ex at least examine this rock. So he's king of the rock. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. Look at him, he's king of the rock over here. What, what? I can turn the screen? I didn't know that. <laughs> I know that's really silly, but I didn't know I could turn the screen. So, wow, that gives us a whole new perspective on how we can look at things. That is so cool. Okay, well, I'm going to turn this way a little bit then so we can see what's going on. And then let's see how the day is going. He landed right on top of us, Adam. Get him. All right. <gasps> You've got him. Yes. Food everywhere. This is wonderful. Fantastic. Look at all this food. That was much needed. Wonderful. And then how's Eve doing over here? Doing pretty good. And where'd the thing move? We need to find... Hmm. Hmm. Is there another rustling? Right there. Okay. And then maybe have her move here. All right. I don't see anything, but she is our strong one. So I do want to keep her nearby. Oh, and then can I gather up this? There we go. I do want to keep her nearby so we can chase down whatever food's over here. But it does seem like the forest is much better for going on a good hunt. So, and she doesn't, she can't move very far. Oh, he's old enough. He's old enough to have babies. All right. So we probably need to rotate Eve. We'll kind of scooch Eve out of the way, I think. And make it so that, well, we'll wait. We'll wait on those two. She can just take care of the baby. And what about over here? Yes. All right. She has gathered up more food. I think he can go ahead and just stay here and continue to gather from that spot. His dad can go on down. Oh my gosh! Attack! Attack! Oh no, this is terrible. We found our first carnivore, but you can get apparently a lot of food from fighting them. All right, and the carnivore is feeling really sick. Okay, move over here. Attack, attack. <gasps> we did it! We killed the carnivore, thank goodness. Oh wait, I should have had everybody gather food. Oh, I was so distracted from having destroyed the carnivore. Oh yes. Look, and you get so many more bunnies. This is going so much better than last time. And I think we'll go ahead. I wanna make sure there's, aha, got another bunny. Wonderful. So yeah, this is going much better than last time. Ah, there was a bunny over here, I swear. Much, much better than last time. And Eve can just perch right over here, 
collect up. She can collect up tons and tons of berries. Okay, and we'll gather up the food, and we will have these two, Isra and Kirduk. We'll have them go ahead and prepare for babies. Aha! This is just going so much better than it used to. What a relief. All right, and I just want to make sure... Mm, I really want to make sure like that there isn't a bad creature over here. But I probably shouldn't waste my moves. However, it is useful just to pop over and like examine spots because then we can move everybody a bit faster. And Eve, you go ahead and collect that. Going so much better. All right, and we'll have her move up here and over here. Oh, Rodu, a whole new guy. He can defend because I don't know if I want his genetics in our family. <laughs> So we found a whole new guy named Ronu. Okay, so he can kind of be defense as well um, And we'll go ahead and have you how many moves can you can do five speed So I think we just need to maybe clear a spot and then yeah I think we actually have to like clear spots in order to move like in straight lines really quickly So we'll have you gather up some food and you gather up some food and I think the little one actually has to get out Ramimi, I think you actually have to leave the nest in order to grow up now that I think about it. <gasps> he died of old age! Adam! What the heck? Or was it that bunny? Is that a death bunny? <gasps> Wait! My tree- my, my bush vanished! What? I didn't know it could do that. I'm not sure how I feel about that, actually. Um, and then I think we'll go ahead and move him up. Oh! My gosh! Is he a panda? <gasps> Look at him! He's got the snip snout all right! He's got a snip snout, like panda snip snout going on right there. What a family portrait this is turning in, like, into. This is really more of like a pack than anything now because we've brought on so many new members. Look at all the bunnies! All right, let's get that bunny. Maybe if I move over here. Oh no, that's where our bush went. I was so worried our bush vanished and we were going to be in trouble. All right, let's move her over here to breed with him. And now she, oh, she has a big old belly now. Okay, so now we'll send her over to the nest in just a moment. So Eve will get out of the way. And then we can send her this far at least. And now we have got Nun Nunuta. So Nunuta oh, is very strong. So these two are kind of going to be the guys that we feed and take care of. And they can defend us in return. And let's see, this guy's better at moving. So we'll maybe have him move, um, maybe examine this spot and move down here. And we could have him, like, there, look at that. Because we examined that spot, we've made a corridor. So I'm really, I'm starting to get it now. I really am. It just took a little bit. So we'll kind of clear this spot so we know what's going on over here. And move you up so you can collect that food. I hope it doesn't attract any other predators. All right, there we go. And now Ramimi is starting to grow up. And we'll move Eve over a little bit. And, whoops, Eve, I didn't want to move you that much. But, oh, well, we found another bush. Cool. And you can help out by gathering there. And then, in fact, we can move you here. And then we've got like a little gathering area, though I don't... I wonder if they can have a special ability to be able to hunt even with the cactus. There. So she's going to rest here and hopefully have her baby. He's going to go ahead and gather up this food. <gasps> There's food. Food. Ah, the food's running away. Hopefully I can corner the food. All right. Are we going to have our new baby? <gasps> There we go! Huzzah! So now we have Vanquita, who has six strength! Yes, that's what we want to see. That is like a super strong little one who's just been born. And Ramimi, I guess, could try having a baby with this panda guy. Um, panda guy, could you examine what the heck's going on over here? Oh dear, I think I know what's going on over here. And I think that she's going to step in. Not going to put up with that nonsense. <gasps> we got him! We got him! Sweet! That was awesome! Now we can gather up all of this food, too! Oh, look at all that food! This is going much better. Much, much better. Alright, we'll come over here, gather this up. Get this guy. This is really- this is- this is going much smoother than before, so I'm pretty happy. And we seem to run into a lot of bunnies here, so I want to make sure this corridor- and it's actually kind of like the hunting corridors that you'll often get with animals, where they'll wander certain sections over and over again, or like deer paths, which you guys have probably heard about before. So this is going much better. And we may have Ramimi and the panda go ahead and have a baby, because they're not related. Eve! And Eve just passed away of old age. Oh my goodness. It happened so quickly. And look at Vancrita. We definitely want to have more babies between those two. So I'm going to move him up. Um, 
Yeah, I'll move him up. Well, let's see what's over here. I kind of want to see what's over here, actually. It's a bunny! Yes! Okay, needed that food. And you can have her come over. Now they're gonna have another baby. We'll scooch our future little fighter out of the way. He can do a bit of hunting here. We'll do another observation spot because this is turning into a really great hunting corridor. All right. And then our panda guy. Let's see, you gather up food from this side. And panda guy, he has no gathering at all. So he's pretty much just good for like exploring and fighting. I'm gonna go ahead and have him kind of explore this direction just a little bit because I, I have a feeling a carnivore might show up at any moment but this is going so much better look at her little pregnant belly oh i almost wish like you could take like family portraits so you could remember because they die so quickly in fact i should probably make sure we're not edging up on old age it'd be nice if like they maybe looked a little differently for old age but you just have to like be paying attention to it okay we should be doing okay over here the rain has brought back all sorts of food. Ah, and Ramimi is old enough to have a baby, but we're gonna wait on that because she should be ready to go ahead and have her baby. And then we'll gather this up. And then can you help out, little one? You can, even though you're so tiny. All right, and then he can go ahead. Oh, we can't explore this area? Huh, is that is that like a special problem he has, I wonder? Interesting. And then he's gonna come back down now that the rain's here. There we go. We can explore this spot and we'll start up a little corridor going in further into the forest area. So nice. And let's see what kind of baby we're going to have. Oh, it's so cute. Look at him. And another boy. Okay, so this is Rotata. And I'm getting a little concerned because we have so many boys now because this one's also a little boy. And he's so strong. So what is, what is this little one like? So this is Isra. And then Rotata isn't as strong, but does he have better move? He does have somewhat better move, so he might be useful for being able to go and explore certain areas. And then let's see, maybe go ahead and explore this spot, explore this spot, have her scooch up, and we'll have a baby with him. And then we'll collect up some food. And then yeah, Isra is really great at fighting, so we might have her go ahead and... Why does she want to fight the berry bush? I have no idea why she wants to fight the berry bush. <laughs> But we'll have her scoot over here. At the very least, uh, well, I guess she could examine that. At the very least, we'll gather up some food with these guys. It's kind of helpful that no matter where they are on the map, um, the food that they gather goes back to the, the main group. All right, and then we'll send him over here. Because I do want to spend some of those food points on exploring a bit more. And then I think, oh, there's food, okay. But sometimes if we just be patient and wait, then the bunny comes to us. Like that! You see? Wonderful! And that's why it's worth it to also explore these corridors, because then you can see where the food is moving, and that's really a valuable, valuable thing. Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and have the baby move. So another wee little baby. We can scooch him over here. She's gonna pop down here. Get ready to have her baby. So Ramimi is going to have her child. And we'll go ahead and just explore a little bit more. We can't explore any further up, which is interesting to me. Is that some sort of trait he has? Normal body. Do you have to have like a special type of body to explore in that direction? I'm not sure. All right. And then Vankirta, we might be able to spread you out a little bit because you have some special abilities with hunting. And there's a lot of bunnies over here. So that actually is a good idea. We'll have Vankirta kind of move down. And then when the rabbits show up, we'll kind of perch them like on the rock or in this area. Because the rabbits show up over here a lot. All right. And let's see what this baby is. And that, that should be good for now. Oh, my. Hmm. Well, those are some ears, all right. <laughs> and let's go ahead and see what dares to mess with our little family right here. Oh, and it's a new guy. Okay. It's a girl. Thank goodness, I guess. And this is Miana. So Miana has come and joined us. She has a little bit of strength, a little bit of speed, no gathering. So we may not breed her because we're starting to get to the point where if we did that, well, I guess we could kind of breed her here. We don't really have a good gatherer anymore ever since, I guess, Eve. Well, actually, this guy over here is a good gatherer. He's got two gathering. 
And then his son only has one. So we'll continue to explore. We'll see if we're able to survive and conquer the entire island. We're slowly but surely getting somewhere with something. And we've got a much better hold on things this time. But we're getting a bigger group, which means it's going to be a little bit harder to feed everybody. Especially as we start moving around and exploring. So we'll have to see how we do next time. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.